Quentin, I, I just want to start by asking you, I know lots of folks are going to be home with their families over the next couple of days. And I talk to people all across the country regularly, as I know you do. Voters are concerned. Democrats are concerned about 2024 and President Biden's ability to beat Donald Trump. What do you say to those concerned Democrats, those concerned voters? Well, first of all, thank you for having me, Simone. It's always great to be with you. Look, I, I don't want to start on a negative tone. I want to start on a positive one. Thanksgiving's tomorrow, and we have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, Donald Trump is not in office right now. Uh, and so, you know, for me, I'm thankful for the fact that we have a president, uh, and we live in a country where costs are coming down, uh, jobs are coming back, and manufacturing is booming. I'm thankful for the fact that we have a president in office right now who doesn't believe that ripping children away from their families, banning Muslims, and rounding up Latinos is doing anything to make us safer and goes against everything that we stand for as a nation. I'm thankful that we have have a president that's willing to stand up to the NRA to protect our children. I'm thankful that we have a president uh, that is fighting for more freedoms, not less. I'm thankful that we have a president uh, that is fighting to restore Roe, not running around bragging about taking it away. Uh, and finally, I'm thankful for the fact that the media uh, is finally waking up uh, and reporting on how disastrous uh, a second Donald Trump presidency would be. Uh, and so to those voters around the country, I say that we have a lot to be thankful for about what we've already accomplished. Um, and I know that together we're going to continue from this campaign to communicate all the reasons that we have to be thankful and also where Donald Trump wants to take this country and the Republican Party wants to take this country. Uh, and we're going to continue to hammer that message home. You know, Quentin, I, I know... Uh... President Biden quite well, and he always says, don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. And yes, there's a contrast that the campaign is now starting to draw with Donald Trump more uh, a, a brighter line. But there's also voters want to know why they want to vote for uh, a President Biden and a Vice President Kamala Harris. And so how do you plan to communicate the accomplishments of the administration to voters across the country in a way where, you know, they can feel it? Look, I mean, this is going to have to be a multifaceted campaign. We're going to have to reach voters all over the place because we live in a fractured media environment, more fractured than it's ever been before. Our campaign is up on television, radio, print, and digital right now, uh, communicating to voters in language, black voters, Latino voters, AAPI voters, um, all over the place about the accomplishments. When it comes down to it, President Biden and Vice President Harris are lowering costs uh, of living in America. They're lowering the cost of prescription drugs. They're focused on giving people their rights back, uh, the right to choose, the right to have autonomy over their bodies, in stark contrast with the Republican Party and the MAGA agenda that is focused on giving tax breaks to the wealthy, uh, rounding up immigrants, putting people in detention camps. Uh, and so we're going to continue to stay focused and double down on everything that we need to do to communicate. Uh, and we have a plan, and we're up on air right now doing that so that when we get into next year, we can just grow that and continue to do it more effectively and more effectively. Uh, and so that's where our posture is, and that's where our head is heading into next year. There's a record number um, investment of ads that the Biden-Harris reelection effort has made. But what about boots on the ground? When can folks expect to be uh, to see people knocking doors in their communities? When are you going to ramp up that effort? Look, we're, we're getting forward, ready to move state leadership forward and put boots on the ground um, in states early into next year. Uh, we know we have to communicate, uh, and boots on the ground is one of the most important campaign aspects for reaching voters. Uh, and frankly, it's something that we're really excited to do, uh, to get folks on the ground communicating to their peers. Um, we think it's really important uh, that it's not just the campaign on television, radio, print, and digital, as important as that is right now in this phase doing it, but also real people who know what's at stake, young voters, uh, voters of color, Hispanic voters, Latino voters, API voters getting out in their communities, telling their friends and neighbors how important uh, this election is and what's at stake and what it will look like if we go back to a second Donald Trump agenda or just a MAGA agenda that Republicans are putting forward. And so we're very focused on that right now. And as we head into next year, we'll definitely see more boots on the ground. Uh, Quentin, there is a, a robust, a, num a, a large number of individuals who are running for president, not just on the Republican part of the ticket, but independents and even on the Democratic part of the ticket. Congressman Dean Phillips, uh, RFK Jr. One, how concerned are you and the campaign about this third party threat? And two, I would, I would love your response to Dean Phillips' uh, remarks yesterday, I believe, to The Atlantic about Vice President Harris, noting that he thinks she's a lovely lady, but the voters out there and a number of people that he has spoken to say that she's just not up for the job. 
I'll, I'll take the second one first. Look, the vice president isn't worrying about uh, what's written in the Atlantic. Uh, what the vice president is worried about uh, is pushing back against MAGA extremists uh, that are hell-bent on ripping away a woman's right to choose. The vice president is focused on being out and about, talking to young voters and hearing their concerns and bringing them back to the administration. The vice president is concerned about making sure uh, that we don't continue to have guns and shootings all across America. The vice president has been the most effective partner to President Biden uh, over the course of the historic accomplishments that they've gotten done for the American people. Uh, and that's where her focus is going to remain. Uh, and to the first question in regards to uh, third party candidates, uh, look, at the end of the day, there's only going to be two viable options to be president to reach 207 electoral votes, uh, Joe Biden and whoever the Republican uh, Party puts forward. Uh, and so our campaign is focused on making sure that we keep our heads down, communicate the message, doing all the things uh, that I've mentioned in my previous answers, and making sure that we get in front of voters. And at the end of the day, voters are going to see that this election is a choice about, at the end of the day, what Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are doing to deliver real results, tangible results that the American people care about, in stark contrast with what the Republican Party is trying to bring to the table. All right. Well, it's a long way till November 2024, Quentin. We will be chatting again very soon. Happy Thanksgiving. Good to see you. Quentin Fultz, appreciate your time. Thank you, Simone. Happy Thanksgiving.